Welcome everybody to the Who Knows What Number podcast. This is the Cody Miller podcast recorded Friday, January 4th, 2018. My guest today is the one, the only Blake Peroni and also the other one, the only Ryan Held. Guys, thank you for spending time with me in my living room today. Yeah, yeah, thank you for having us. Yeah. So this week, Ryan is obviously from NC State. Took a little time off from Short Course Worlds, came up to IU to hang out with us, and we've just been having a blasty blast. It's been fun. Um, this podcast, I describe to people as 80% swimming, 20% whatever else we want to talk about. We'll try to keep it on topic, but uh, we tend to drift away sometimes, and I apologize for that. How was Short Course Worlds, boys? That's what the people want to know. It was good. It was good, good as long, I thought. Yeah, so in case you didn't know, uh, Short Course Worlds took place in Hangzhou, China. It's about an hour west of Shanghai. That makes any difference. Never been. Um, Never been. Never been. But yeah, no, Hangzhou was a very uh, nice city. Very, it was kind of cold. It was snowed. It was snowed yeah, a day. Really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Snowed a day. Um, but it was weird. So for a population of 25 million, the population density of where we were at was crazy low. So there was like six people on the street at all times. That was weird. It was like That's giant weird. buildings everywhere. Yeah. But like no, no people. One was on. It was like a like a super weird. Like an old ghost town, like Western film ghost town. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just, just thirty-story skyscrapers, no one around. Yeah. Well, you guys set a world record, which was pretty, pretty awesome. I feel like we definitely need to talk about that. It was pretty, pretty exciting. First, first. Well, mine was first relay, first day, first event. First relay, first day was the four and freestyle relay. Was that first? Yeah, day? first. Yeah, first. The first day, re, yeah, the first day relay yeah. was the four by one hundred freestyle relay yeah. event. Yeah, so that was definitely a high note. And then second day was the two free. And then Held actually set three, right? Three mm-hmm. or four. Three, three, three world, world records? records? Yep. Yeah. Dude. Yeah. How does it feel to be a world record? <laughs> <laughs> feels, well, feels pretty awesome. Like, But it just, like feels, I don't know. I, like At one hand, it felt like, I was like, oh, this is awesome. Yeah, like world record. But on the other hand, it was like, really? Like, I feel like, I mean, I feel like, this wasn't even like our best, like could have been our potential, like best it team. Could be like better. We, we, did, we were just like a ragtag. We were saying that a lot. Team. Well, not like a ragtag. No, we were ragtag. Like, we were pretty good. It wasn't like uh, like a nationals that all of USA like swimming like focuses on for for like a long time, or like a world championships or an Olympics or something. Well, so we've talked about of, this on the podcast before. Like USA yeah. swimming just doesn't take short course worlds all that seriously. Like, right, and I, yeah, it wasn't. I mean, people cared about it, but it wasn't like the meat of the year. You know yeah, what I, mean? like, I, I, I was, I was saying, after like the third or fourth day, when we set like our like ninth American record, to, like whatever fifth <laughs> world record American from the record. team, and I was kind of wondering, I was like, where has America been for the last like <laughs> ten years in this meet? And then people were like, like, so dude, are. Ryan, yeah. this was this was like the first time we've ever taken this meet seriously, like. Yeah. And sending like the group, like actually like a Dude, high caliber group. Honestly, I was so psyched when I saw you broke the American record in the hundred meter free in prelims, leading off that relay. I was like, I was like, man, this is gonna be a good relay. That was so cool. Yeah, yeah, that was cool. That was nutty. I was pretty pumped about that. That was it was nice to kind of get like the mojo. Yeah, the mojo the, speed back. The I don't know. I think short course is just so fun. Like I don't. I enjoy short course a lot, but like. Some of like some of the it was kind of like some of the battles that went on were really really good. They kind of hyped them up, you know, like Caleb and Chad and Hunter Fly. Mm-hmm. And that was sick. Caleb and Vlad and Fifty Three uh, and and Ben. Ben proud, yeah. Um, but that that made the meet a lot really fun. I think watching your tuner freestyle was insane. <laughs> I saw someone commented on Instagram. They were like, "Do you even know how hard Blake Peroni went out?" In the <laughs> <freestyle>? <laughs> Yeah, I don't want to watch it again. Oh, hurt me watching it. Yeah. That looked so painful. Yeah, it was. No, we, 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 as a spectator from like the, the team viewing era, we saw that you flipped at the 100 and we're like, man, Blake, Dude, just, Blake just Blake just sold his soul oh. to the devil to, for this race. Yeah, I think I started crying on the last lap. <laughs> we're like, hang on, yeah. hang Could on. You, we're watching the race live. We, when, you're, when you're in like that tired, do your legs just feel like you're just like bending your like knees and you're just riding a bike instead of taking <laughs> a straight leg. Who said that? Someone said that about someone said that about someone at the meet. It was funny though. Uh, I don't know. No, they just burned. They just burned so bad. One of the coolest things I saw was after you guys won gold and set the world record. I think I think all of you. I think Caleb and then you and then maybe even pretty much all of you guys posted that photo of you guys from NCAA's a couple of years ago. Oh was yeah. Group. Uh-huh. Was it yeah. Chadwick? In that yeah, it was Chadwick. So it was. Chadwick, Dressel, and then you two. Yeah. That mm-hmm. was really cool. Yeah, that, that was, was one of the. That was actually things. a really cool picture. Yeah, yeah. that was super. Because we cool. had been waiting 
like to do a relay of us four for a while, right? Like just us four, mm-hmm. because you know we all race each other from different schools and in college, and you know to be on a USA relay at a meet like that. That was really fun. That was so cool. Yeah, that was ridiculously cool. Other highlights: watching Annie Laser win the women's tuna breaststroke. That was pretty awesome. Yeah, yeah. we love it. And Annie. especially like she didn't swim until oh, the last day. Yeah, I can't even. Just had to imagine. train and do nothing oh, yeah. all oh my week. God. Yeah. The last day of the meet, and that's like a week long meet. Yeah, it was yeah. close like to it. Days, six, six days. days or something. Yeah. Goodness gracious. Yeah. Oh, that was. Pay- I remember watching um, Michael Weiss in 2013. We were at World University Games in Kazan, Russia, and he was only there for the 400 IM, and it was an eight day meet, and he was swimming the 4 IM on the last day. Oh, yep. I was gosh. like, oh, dude. So he was like starting his taper day one. Well, not starting, but he was really, you know what I mean. He was really starting his taper like day one of the competition. Yeah. Like, for the 4 IM. <laughs> we yeah we we when we went to uh, Wugs and. Taipei, we had a guy like that oh, who man. didn't swim to the very last day. Brutal. And brutal. to think about someone a four I am. I know. Like, then Weiss went four twelve zero zero and yeah. won gold. That was pretty that was pretty yeah. hard. That was really cool. What year was that? That was in two thousand thirteen. Yeah. That was when Russia was just absurdly fast yeah. that year. Yeah. That yeah, they were still I mean, we had there were some really good battles between the relays and the what a good time. with Russia. Oh yeah, this time. we it was almost it was like a really cool. We had a lot of cool dual meet and inv- type yeah. scenarios between us and Russia and Brazil. I'd say yeah. Brazil also. Dude, I went. Oh Brazil. Oh, I actually, love that country. But dang it, <laughs> I was I was on the 2014 short course worlds team, and all three of the relays I was on set world records, but we got beat by by Brazil, Brazil by like just in each, a, in each relay, each relay. Just out to I remember our 400 medley relay. Um, it was Grievers, myself, Tom Shields, and then Lochte anchored the freestyle leg. Because mm-hmm. we didn't really have like a drop-dead freestyler. And Lochte anchored, and Cesar Cielo from Brazil <sighs> ran him down the last 25. And we were like, <laughs> I just barely out-touched him. Jeez. Broke my heart. That's oh, just the most painful thing ever. Yeah, the, uh, our, 200, our 200 medley relay... I was actually the oldest. Really? At a yeah. whopping 23. Oh my gosh, that's a young And so I'm older. He's older than Murphy. I'm older by like two that. days than Murphy, really? Michael Andrew, and then the other was Caleb. But Brazil, we were like lane four, and Brazil right next to us was like Lima, um, uh, Lima, Caesar, Santos. Santos. Oh, that's a good relay. And like their whole entire relay was like average Dude. age was like 32 yeah. <laughs> so it was so seriously like, like the rookies versus the vets oh my gosh that's yeah. nutty. the young bloods that's so funny brian you were saying earlier that when you originally were going to short course worlds you were like you thought you might swim one or mm-hmm. two events and then you ended up swimming a, how much yeah so? so i was so when like usa swimming released the email i was like oh hey, you're be like you've been selected to swim like the 400 freestyle relay, 200 right. freestyle relay. I was like, okay, sweet. So my coaches and I, we trained for the 200 freestyle relay, 400 freestyle relay. Just off 50 and 100. Just like swim swim this day, day or two days off. Nice. Swim this day, done. Uh, but when I got to China, uh, the coach was like, yeah, you're going to be on the 200 freestyle, the 400 freestyle, the 800 freestyle, oh. the 200 mix free, <laughs> or in the 200 uh, mix medley, or, some, or 400 medley, or something. I was like, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Excuse me, what? I was, uh, I was not ready for it, but um, kind of in those times of like, when you're not ready for it, you, you know, you just rise up to the occasion. I think uh, my favorite swim of Ryan's was the anchor of the 400 medley relay on the last day. That was oh. nuts. Yeah. That was yeah. a world record, right? No, we no, were barely, oh, barely so off. Um, but it was us. Who was, who was on that relay? Um, Murphy, Murphy let off. Okay. Wilson. Wilson, Caleb. Dressel on the fly, and then okay. Mia Free. Nice. Against like, um, Clement Koz- uh-huh. Kozakov. Clemente from... Um, Kalashnikov. Yeah, yeah, Kalashnikov. And then I can't remember the... Kirill Pagoda. Yeah, um, I can't remember the butterfly name. Mikhail. And then Vlad Morozov on the free. Yeah. But, so, <laughs> so we're about a little ahead, right? Like a little, maybe like four tenths or five yeah. tenths ahead. And Held does his relay exchange and comes oh, off the blocks like a cannon. Oh, and like pops yes. up at 15. Yes. And we're like, oh my gosh. I love it. And he turns. So he, I have it right here. He flips in 20.80. Oh, at the, at the 50. Yeah. yeah. Wow. <laughs> And yeah, it held off Vlad, but uh, that that I, that last twenty five had to hurt. It, it did. <laughs> <laughs> it did. It definitely did. Bicycle. Yeah. 
Oh my god! But that was that was like I think that was probably the loudest that it got in the whole. Actually, you know, speaking of the venue, yeah, it was it was mostly packed most yeah. nights, and like whatever Monday through Sunday, it was good. it had like it was like seventy five percent full or above. Yeah, every night, every That's finals awesome. night, and it was loud. Yeah, Super real loud. loud. That, that makes that makes it mean. Yeah, it, it was mm-hmm. really fun. Like the the stands weren't too far away from the pool, so yeah. they were pretty pretty close to the pool and on top. So yeah, it really created this really loud environment. It was, I would say, it was one of the be- better meets to swim. I at. would say that what's crazy is the three best like relay swing swimmers I've ever seen: Caleb, you, and Blake. Like Blake has a relay swing that is ridiculously consistent, but you and Caleb are like. You guys are like shotguns off, like coming <laughs> off that first wall. Your Actually, underwaters are so gnarly. I don't know. I would say Talent is probably Talent, a better Talent's swing so swing swimmer than Caleb. You think so? Um, that's well, like the difference. I mean, okay. from the flat well, start but to I, the swim. Yeah, but that's just because Caleb's flat start right. is so disgusting. Yeah. Right. Oh, his impulse it's, powers. It's crazy. Crazy. It's yeah. off the charts. Yeah. I mean, what Caleb did split like seventeen three at NCs oh. from from a relay. Unreal. People like, oh, he went 17 6. I was like, yeah, but he almost went 16. <laughs> <on the relay." laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty fast. Yeah. yeah. Goodness gracious. But then, I, t- I mean, Townley drops seconds. Dude, like, that guy's a relay swimmer. Yeah. I love it. I mean, what do you go? 143 7 in the 200 free on the 8 for relay from a swing at Pan Packs. That's So he dropped like two seconds from, from his, his flat start. From his flat start. That's yeah. Disgusting. That's crazy. Yeah. That's like, you're so hyped. Yeah. You can't even replicate that. That gosh. level of hype, I feel like. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Well, if the viewers could see, or sorry, the listeners could see us right now just sitting in my living room on our couch, we need a better podcast studio, guys. Yeah. <laughs> we need to get the video set up, too. We do need to get a video set up. And then Ryan could come back and be on video. Yeah. Uh-huh. He could be in the vlogs. I'll take another little week vacation. Yeah, yeah. Come back. Come back and see us again. Yeah. So we went to the uh, basketball game last night. We did. Oh, we yeah. had a ton of fun. Yeah. And I did. I don't know if you guys noticed, but um, as we were walking, there were a group of girls that were like, oh my God, that's Ryan Held. <laughs> Me? As, you're yes, out? as we were walking out, right after the game ended, there was like a big group of girls up, up above I know, us. No, because the girls were like, oh my God, there's Cody Miller. Was <laughs> different <laughs> group? Ah, oh, man. Yeah. It's like missing the Jumbotron. <laughs> I know. Dude, Allie, yeah. Yeah, did we tell you this, Blake? No. Allie, she was like, you guys were on the Jumbotron like seven times. And I was like, you're exaggerating. She was like, no, you were up there a lot. We never even noticed. It was and then this fame, this man. morning, um, we saw Cole, and he's like, "Oh yeah, the, the the people saw. They said you saw you on the jumbotron." We're like, "Oh man!" Dang it! And then someone else said, "They're like, oh yeah, guys, I saw you in the jumbotron oh, yeah. last night." Kevin said he saw. Us oh on yeah, TV. yeah, yeah, yeah. He was like, "I saw you guys on TV. I was watching the game at home." And I was like, "Dang it!" Yeah. So, so we I never think, noticed. Like, yeah, we need to tell us. We didn't do anything. Literally, cool. everyone and their mom saw Blake, Cody, and I on the jumbotron and on TV, but. Except Besides us, us yeah. three. Yeah. Well, we had the best seats in the entire. We house. did. We had some really. Oh good my gosh, seats. we were on. We were in the first bench row, directly behind the players. We were like twelve feet away from the head coach, yeah. watching Archie Miller yell at the players. It was awesome. That was that was a ton of fun. And yeah. if the viewers, if your viewers aren't aren't familiar, Indiana basketball is like it's a religion here. It is. It's, it's like true. Alabama football, yeah. Notre Dame football. Yeah. They like sell out the stadium or the arena, like whatever the past I 60 believe, years okay so school is out right now mm-hmm. and and assembly hall was almost full yeah almost completely full for a game that's not even that big of a game right i mean like not like a rival game or anything no. that was crazy i hadn't been in like a year or yeah. two and it was loud it was so I was loud like, i haven't been in years i was like geez. is that your first iu basketball game uh no it's been my second okay okay but you went on one on your recruiting trip i think i went on one no no i went on a, no it would have been too early really i think i just randomly went before huh that's cool we are a sports guy. Yeah, so. I do like sports. Dude, that was so much fun. Yeah, we gotta do that again. No, I. We got my, to hook, we my, got to hook up with those seats. I can't remember. That was my. Yeah, that was those seats were amazing. That was the first time I've ever been like I, anywhere I, near. I like, know. On the wooden awesome. on the wooden ble- bleachers. Yeah. yeah, those are cool. Oh man, <laughs> and we had passes to the back backstage VIP room where. Yeah, they have was... food and catered meals, and I got all the free popcorn I could possibly eat. <laughs> I'd say a good fifty percent of my meal last night was popcorn. It was <laughs> wonderful. Yeah, Ryan, you want to tell the story of the other night when uh, I was eating popcorn, and um, you know what I'm talking about? Oh yeah. So, <laughs> uh, so during this during this week while I'm here, I'm just staying at Cody Miller or Cody's house, and uh, Cody and I were just sitting on the couch watching TV, killing time, and. Uh, Cody's like, hey, man, you hungry? I was like, yeah, yeah, sure, yeah, I'll, I'll take some. He's like, hey, you want some popcorn? Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> you make it sound like a... <laughs> so Cody, go, Cody goes, go, goes up. He bakes like... 
<laughs> probably three popcorn bags worth equivalent. Three large bowls. Three large, very large bowls yeah. of uh, popcorn. And he's got like different popcorns. He Cody takes his popcorn very seriously. He's got like different seasoning mixes and I pop so, all the kernels individually. Yeah. <laughs> so he yeah, he's got three huge bowls, like one's cheddar, one's like parmesan, one's buttered. Um Garlic parmesan. and he sits down with all three bowls and I probably have about a handful um before uh my girlfriend calls me. So I go into the other room, talk to her for probably about 15 minutes maybe i don't even know if it was that maybe long. not even that yeah. probably just about 10 minutes yeah. but i come back and all three bowls are empty and cody is now <laughs> snacking on carrots with peanut butter like and i was like what happened he's like dude i ate the whole i ate the <laughs> whole batch i ate stop, every so. single one and i, I was oh, like man. kind of bummed i was like oh man i wanted some popcorn but it's so sorry. <laughs> that's okay it's okay <laughs> people don't understand they ask me what's like the one vice i have it's popcorn I mean, anyone who's seen my wedding photos knows how much popcorn, popcorn we had. Yeah. It was insane. Yeah, that was, that was so good. Yeah. Shout out to not, I think it was not just popcorn is the name of the place that catered my popcorn for the wedding. Blake, you've been asking to, to order some. Yeah, so I definitely. I mean, they have like oh, chocolate so flavors good. and like, how many oh. flavors do they have? Like a hundred? Oh, w- over a hundred. Well over a hundred yeah. flavors. It was nutty. It's so Next level popcorn too. stuff. Not just oh. like your normal bagged I, I, I take my popcorn real seriously. <laughs> real seriously. <laughs> yeah. You gonna come to the escape room with us tonight? That's right. I'm gonna put you on the spot. In podcast. <laughs> yeah, I'll see you there. <laughs> I'm so lazy. <laughs> so I just got back. Yeah, talk. Let's yeah, talk yeah, a little talk bit about, about your this. travels. Good okay. God, you know how many people have the been cities like, you like. Blake? When's <laughs> you coming back? Yeah, so I'm back. I'm back for for good now. Thank God. Uh, Get in my life. <laughs> <laughs> so after the third cluster of the World Cups that I went to, so after like the seventh international meet. I had like 10 days in the in the US but before I left for for China for Short Course Worlds. And it was so like Nationals, Pan Packs, seven World Cup meets that were all in different countries God. and then and then uh World Championships in China. So that was like you know, by that time I was so mentally tired of traveling. I still <laughs> loved the racing aspect, yeah. but I was just like the traveling just got like yeah. to be so much and I just got so tired of it. Um, maybe that's why I thought that China felt super long, but you've just been no. Too honestly, much, it did. We were, we were there for like twelve days. Yeah. We were there for a week before the meet started, and then yeah, we, we were, were there a good bit. We were. Yeah, I was actually happy about that. Because not to mention, you were only ever even when you came back, you didn't have a lot of time. Like you came back, and then you had to go do that Mizuno photo shoot. Right. Like you had, you were constantly doing stuff. Yeah, a lot of stuff has happened. I don't know if I was. I don't know if I, that was public the last time that we had. This, it wasn't. Uh, it wasn't. Last time we had this podcast, we but yeah. It. Yeah, a lot of stuff has happened. Uh, partnered with Mizuno. Um, Shout they're, out. Yeah, they're coming into the U.S. and super pumped about that. So sweet. It's by far my my favorite suit. Yeah, I've been wearing that since 2016, I think. Yeah. Did you wear it trials? No, right after trials. Okay. Yeah. That was when you first tried it. Yeah. That was like kind of when they first started becoming popular here in yeah. the states. I feel that's like. true. Yeah. 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 They're blowing up now. Georgia really popular. Popular. Yeah, Georgia, them. Texas. Yeah. Well, we're glad you're back. You were yeah. gone way too long. Yeah, I don't know how many Goodness. days I was outside of the U.S. I need to like... You should you pro- calculate. Yeah, you probably spent more days outside of the U.S. than you did inside the U.S. Yeah. Well, definitely from yeah. nationals, but not like not before nationals. But like from nationals to January 1st, probably. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> and like that's because nationals was like late July, yeah. early August. <laughs> <laughs> that was so far ago. That's that was so long. long. Yeah. It went by so fast. That was long. Goodness, goodness it was fun it was, though it, it wore on me though yeah oh i could i could imagine yeah. i've just been uh i've just been traveling for the past like two weeks because I, I graduated from north carolina state went to Asheville, north carolina toured there went to charlotte for a day went to springfield my home and then went to chicago for a few days and like just those two weeks of traveling just inside the u.s but like not sleeping in the same bed for yeah, more than like three home. nights Oh, it's not restful. I was no. One of, I yeah, was one of, stressed. One of the toughest ones was I flew from Singapore to go to Golden Goggles, mm. oh, yeah. and it was Sing- like Singapore to San Francisco was like four. No, I flew Singapore to New York, and it was fourteen hours. <laughs> Is that when you hour. got bumped off your flight when you were texting me? <laughs> no, that was a, that was a later flight. Okay, yeah, that was crazy fiasco. But. <laughs> 
<laughs> that was that one. I almost I almost went crazy. I got some pretty angry texts from Blake saying, "I just got bumped off my flight. Yeah. I don't know what I'm doing." Yeah, yeah. So I was supposed to go from China. This is more traveling oh stuff. My gosh. From from Short Course Worlds to Miami for a training trip with IU, a training camp. Yeah, um, that was fun. Yeah, and and it was. I had to take three different flights to get there, but my third flight, since I didn't check in, I guess or whatever, and my connection was super close, like I automatically got bumped, and they bumped me for a flight the next day, and I was oh. like, I was like, no, I can't. I gotta be there, you know, tonight. And they were like, there's no more flights. There's no more flights to Miami. There's no more flights to Fort Lauderdale. So right. I flew into West Palm Beach Airport and took a lift for an hour and a half. Oh. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. Yep. One direction on a Tuesday morning at like one. <laughs> yeah. What did this what did this Lyft driver do? I know. <laughs> I was like, who would want to drive an hour and a half one direction? Like I don't think I don't think they know the destination. When they no, they do. They do? Yeah, because I asked, I was like, Are you okay with how far this is? And he's like, Oh yeah, no problem. I was like, it's like one in the morning on a Tuesday. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to Florida. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, yeah. People of Florida, man. Yeah. They are crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little upset Caleb never responded to our video that we sent. Yeah. Yeah. Hazen. Yeah. Yeah. Caleb. We need to pick on Caleb. Caleb, if you hear him. this, please respond. <laughs> yeah. Little kids will tweet out. This will only be like seven days later, but <laughs> <laughs> please respond. <laughs> Dang it. Left on red. We were really proud of it. Yeah. yeah. How do you guys feel like swimming in Rio and then swimming the year after and now that we're past the halfway point in this Olympic quad? How have things changed? Because that's like the thing, a question I get from people all the time or how has, you know, I mean, it's such a drastic change right. you know, going to the Olympics and Ryan being known as the guy who was crying on the podium next to Michael, just happy tears. I mean, that's yeah. like, it's kind of insane, right? Yeah, honestly, it's, it's weird because after Rio, it was like four years. Oh, geez, that's so long. Right. But then like, I still had two more years of college, and then that ate up a lot of it. And now it's like, oh, it's a year and a half it's away. Right around the corner. Like, holy cow, it's like almost 15 months away. Like, or not 15, I don't know, it's 18 months away. I was like, holy cow, like, it's it's coming up yeah. soon. Like, where, where has these past, like, three years been now? Um, but, yeah, I yeah, I think it's it definitely, it's, it's weird because now, like, I feel like I have this, the standard I have to swim up to right? because everyone associates my name with uh, like an Olympian. Yeah. So I feel like I have this, this kind of like unspoken, mm -hmm. like, like, yeah, level I have to compete at and whatnot. And so I, I definitely feel a little bit pressure filled right. from right. the public eye, public media. Yeah. It's just different. Yeah. I think for me, it's, I could not focus on like a four year kind of cycle. Like I went, you know, went to the Olympics in 16 and then I just had this like, immense increase in motivation and then I was like all right now it's NCAAs and then I'm not thinking about 2020 in 2016 because it would I would go crazy you would go like, crazy yeah, yeah I was just thinking about like the next meet and then the next meet and you know I just kept improving a little bit and like I kept being highly motivated so it's been a lot of fun I hate since. it when people are like so next Olympics we're getting to the point now where it's like not that crazy to ask that. Yeah. I mean, like five months after Rio, people are like, so like you gonna go to the yeah. next one? I'm like, what are you doing in four years? Yeah, <laughs> you know, like, yeah. Well, I don't yeah. know. Oh man, that, that's I people people who don't know quite under under are familiar with the sport of swimming. They're like, oh no, nice. so am I gonna see you in Tokyo? And like, oh, did they decide that like what like next year? I was like, no, they actually decided like a month before the games start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, people just don't understand. Some people that. are like, so Paris, right? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> what? Was, that, was that last night? Yeah. I think oh so. my gosh, that's right. I was like what? You're like it's you like, just can't even. Yeah. I think you have the right approach, Blake. I think looking just one at a time, one meet at, at a time. time. Yeah. Not even not even necessarily a full season at a time. Yeah, just mm -hmm. the next biggest meet. Yeah, that's definitely. Otherwise, you just go crazy. Yeah, like you just, and it is kind of tough because there, are, you know, there are points like you, you did it right, doing all those World Cups and doing all that. But like, if if you don't do that, there are long extended periods of time when there aren't really big serious competitions. There's not a lot. Like we have the pro series, but it's yeah. not taken seriously as a pro series because I mean, there's a lot of factors. There's no prize money behind it. Um, there's, you know, it, there's no clout behind it. You know, it, it's it, the, the views of quote unquote in season swimming, I honestly think is, um, 
kind of holds us back a little bit as a sport. Yeah. You know what I mean? I think it depends on the person. Like some people might like training for, you know, a long interrupted period of time and doing one championship meet. But for me, I mean, I, I prefer racing. I would go crazy. I would go crazy. Yeah, it's just, I would get so unmotivated and I would start to like really get annoyed with the sport if I was just training, training, training and not seeing any kind of measurement. Dude, that's been me the last like six months. Yeah. I hate it. Oh, it's rough. It's brutal. It's the worst. But sometimes you don't have a choice. Yeah. yeah. No, swimming no, swimming can be a very mentally draining sport just because it's so so cutthroat, so so hard at times. Yeah. That's why like when, when people when kids ask me all the time, like, what can I do to get better? What's the most important thing? Like what's everyone wants the key to success in whatever yeah. realm they're in. But I always tell people the same thing and that's like I mean, obviously listen to your coaches and work hard, but I always say, make sure you're having fun and enjoying yourself. And I joke, attitude. I joke when I'm like, Blake, you need to get in my life, you know, but mm-hmm. I'm serious because at this point, like it's a career, it's not an easy career right. and I need to make sure that I'm constantly enjoying it. And that's why I'm glad, at least here at IU, like I've got a solid group of friends, especially now that Blake is back <laughs> and Ryan's visiting mm-hmm. that it keeps me sane because I mean, the older we get, we're not on the college team anymore. We're just at a different, you know, a different Part stage of our lives, life. Yeah. And, you know, thank God I've got people like Margo around to kind of, you know, keep me in check and keep me sane. Shout out, Margo. She's going to be on the podcast next. We gotta, we're got going to pressure her to be on the podcast. <laughs> mm-hmm. The crowd favorite. <laughs> but, I mean, that, that's the biggest thing. I always, I always tell people, make sure you're enjoying yourself and you're having fun and you're surrounded by the right people. Yeah. That's what I always say. That's probably, I mean, that's probably one of the best responses to give to someone that is asking for something like that. And I, I, when, when someone asks, like, what can, I, like, what can they do to be better – like I feel so because I don't know them really yeah. necessarily, and I'm like, I don't know, you know, yeah. like I, <laughs> I don't know, and it would probably take me like a week to like, you know, look at all this, and I don't want to say like work hard, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah, that's um, just a, like a generic yeah, answer. It is. Yeah. It's just we don't we don't know. Like, I don't and, have anything answers, and I don't think some people are looking for. Oh, you need to focus on breath control. I was like, there's not one thing. No, you know? it's like. Yeah. There's not one pill or like magic. <laughs> what did you say? Key magic keys to success. He's like, yeah, yeah. I'm not selling yeah. these little keys that like make you better. <laughs> if only please. it's a lot of stuff, and I don't know. It's hard. It's hard to answer that question. Definitely the hardest time of the season, though, is in those periods of time when there's not a lot of racing. Yeah. I think we kind of all feel that way. I think so. Yeah. yeah. Especially the last three months. I mean, you did the World Cups and there was Strokos Worlds, but in off years when the, like, for instance, next December, unless USA Swimming gets their act together, there's really no major December meet that I'm aware of. Right. So like there are really... Well, there's nationals, right? Is there... Well, yeah, but... But that's but, not... But it's not It's not a major international competition. No, and once no. again, people don't take winter nationals seriously. Right. They, for, for, you know, we can go into all the different reasons why that's the case, but they just don't. Right. And, I, and we no longer have duel in the pool because Mutual of Omaha is no longer a sponsor, sponsor. of USA Swimming. And dude, that meet was awesome and fun, and they, they have to have something like that. Yeah. They, need to, they need to make something like that, but anyway. does yeah. uh, Is Toyota a new sponsor of USA yes. Swimming? I saw, I saw that. Yeah. Something about that. I know Hinchy was saying he was working on get, gaining those sponsorships for a potential competitions and things down the line but i, I think saw so, i saw that i didn't know yeah i didn't hear anything about it i don't know does that uh, interfere with their bmw sponsorship i don't know how that works i have no idea Probably. no idea I have mean, you ever gotten one of the bmws at one of those pro series meets no. i've literally never done that no never done it's kind of cool though i mean it is cool yeah. for those l- listeners are like what are they talking about well if you're on the u.s national team when you go to these pro series meets usa swimming provides certain things for us like the hotel blocks meals you know n- nice things um, and depending on your world ranking, oftentimes they'll offer free rental cars and they're usually, you know, through the, the BMW series because they're a sponsor of USA swimming, right. which none of us have literally ever taken part of, but right. I don't know if you, if you, can you still, if you're under 25, like what, I don't know. I don't yeah. know how it works. Oh, that's a good question. I don't know. I never I thought know. about that. Yeah. Huh. Legally. Cause you have to be 25 to rent a car. Yeah. I don't know if you have to be. Ryan, like, how old are you? 23. Oh, okay. Huh. I turned 27 in like five days. Whoa. Yeah. It's weird. It's getting, it's getting up there. Weird. Yeah. yeah. No, it's, getting, <laughs> it's getting real weird. I told Allie to buy me the uh, that new Mario game for the Switch. Um, I don't know, Mario Land or whatever it is. Whatever the new one on the Switch is. Not Odyssey, right? No, Odyssey is incredible. I love that game. I've already beaten it. I don't know what the new Mario, Mario game There's is. another one. It might just be like a remastered Wii U or Wii game for the Switch. Oh, okay. I don't know. Are you playing any games? Um, mm, no. My big... My, see, I... Uh, 
I don't have. See, I have a PS4, but I don't have PS4 Live. Okay. Or whatever. Plus. Yeah, plus. So. Yeah. So I I generally gravitate towards more campaign single player heavy games. So I right. love right. I love Fallout yeah. the series. Oh, yeah. But my favorite game series of all time, Bioshock. Oh, Bioshock, Bioshock is Bioshock so Infinite. good. Yeah. Oh, my god. Great gosh. game. Did you play Fallout 4? Yep. I played the, Fallout 4. And the, what was the newest Fallout? Like 17? No, 76. No, I never played Fallout 76. I didn't play that one either. But, uh, no. Bioshock, by far. I love those games. I, I feel love, like we're talking um, about video games a lot. I've also... <laughs> we're talking. This is my podcast. <laughs> I get people that are like, you need to only stick to swimming. I'm like, you can shut your mouth. This is my, <laughs> this is my podcast. We'll talk about whatever you can, you can, you can, you can stop. You, you can make, like, <laughs> segments. Like... In, in like time stamps like minute zero to minute 30 is swimming minute 31 to whatever absolutely is. not that no. takes too much time <laughs> okay you're over. right that was a stupid idea Ryan. <laughs> i'm just kidding Ryan. uh no, no i, I made a, a, little Fortnite, I made a but... youtube video the other day of my top 10 favorite movies of the year by the way we should probably talk about that oh. and i got i got a couple comments okay i probably got 400 or 500 comments and tweets at, at me in various different outlets most of them are all positive, which okay. is great. But I always get a couple people that are like, you, just need come to, out swinging. you need to stick to swimming. Like, this is dumb. <laughs> I'm not going to watch this. I'm like, well, you spent the time to comment. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like I, I, I guess I can only know what, things about one thing. It's true. Yeah, it's yeah. just, it's, yeah. the internet won't allow it. That's how it works. Yeah. 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 People, people just see us as like swimmers, elite athletes. They don't think of us as like people, you know. I don't yeah. know. But, but yeah. I want to humanize the mythos of the Olympic swimmer. Yeah. yeah. You know, we need people to realize that Nathan's just as big of a nerd as we are. Just because he's huge Bigger. and gorgeous. Literally. Yeah, he's literally, literally a lot. Yeah. <laughs> he's exactly the same. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> so top 10. Let's, let's rattle them out. Um, well, my favorite movie of the year was A Star is Born. Okay. Oh Never saw it. Oh my God, I love that Never movie. Never saw it either. A Quiet Place was number two. Really? A Quiet Place you liked is it that much. so good, dude. I liked it you too. You watch... Oh my, like short, with, but with it was like no it. dialogue. The level of emotion, yeah, and just the struggle and love of that family. Are we allowed to like say stuff? About no spoilers. Movies? Don't spoil okay, it. Spoiler. I don't want to. It's that'd be uncool. Okay, yeah, yeah, no spoilers. But, but dude, I was so stressed out the whole time watching the very first time. Oh my god, I was so yeah. stressed. Yeah. I'm not a those, horror. All of those movies, like the what's the new one that I knew Bird Box. Bring this up. Yeah, Bird Box. Yeah, I haven't that was, watched it. Haven't that's, watched. That stressed me out too. Dude, I'm just saying it stressed okay, me out. I, we're not going to talk about it because Ryan hasn't seen it yet. But I didn't really like it. No, I, I thought liked it was kind of crappy. I didn't. Allie I think it. I still liked Quiet Place more. But I, I, how could you not? It's I so much it. better. <laughs> it's so, I don't know. Right, I liked lower it. your expectations. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Anyway, what were the other ones? So there were also a bunch of movies I didn't see that I want. Like I need to see Creed too. Mm-hmm. Really want to see Creed. Do you too. think it'd be that good though? I don't know. I've heard it's good. I loved the first movie. Loved it. Was Venom in your top ten? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. It was not what I was no. expecting at all. It was so funny. Yeah. yeah. It was so funny. Well, I never, so the, I never seen it. Got to watch it. Um, well, Crimes of Grindelwald was number nine. I liked it. Didn't love it, but I I had such a good time watching the Wizarding World come alive again. Uh, maybe it's nostalgia, whatever you want to call it. But I get giddy. I'm yeah. Little, I, but yeah, I'm like a little kid. Okay, so there's that. Obviously, Avengers: Infinity War was in there. I mean, how could you? Oh not? yeah. How oh, could you yeah. not? What number? Oh, was that? another one. Uh, number. That was number. Oh, four. what? I I'm like I'm like <laughs> lukewarm <laughs> about Infinity War. Really? What? Yeah. Really? Dude, I, that was probably my favorite. It was favorite good, of but it was like. Eh. Oh, dude. I'm getting a call right now from my mom. Sorry, mom. Can't answer this. Doing a podcast. But. I, Oh, oh, oh wait. Sorry, sorry guys. Sorry everyone. Uh, <laughs> Still but, recording. No, I I did I did like Infinity Wars because I I'm a huge Marvel sucker. I mean anything Marvel I like. Yeah. But Infinity Wars just. Oh dude, yeah. mom, stop calling me. It. it wasn't. Mom, stop calling me. <laughs> it wasn't what I would hoped for. But I am very very excited for Endgame. I'm very very excited. Yeah, I'm happy that it, like, every. Like superhero movie always ends with them like winning or like whatever, yeah, and you, you know the with... next one will. But yeah. like, still for it to go out with like him erasing what fifty percent of the you universe could... or whatever. Yeah. There was, there was too much star power. You know what that. argument I have with people? They're like the people a lot. The people who don't okay, not a lot of people I've met didn't like it. But the few people who did say they didn't like it say that they didn't like how it ended on a cliffhanger. They didn't like how it you know the snap happened. I, I don't see it that way. I see it as like Thanos straight up won yeah. and the movie ended. Yeah, yeah. And we know something else is going to happen. Uh-huh. But like I don't see it as a cliffhanger. I'm like, I see that movie as like there was a beginning. There was a whole bunch of action in the middle. There were several plot points that were all going through. And then guess what? Boom, we know what happened. And Yeah, because like the, the typical storyline is always like the villain 
has this plan. Yep. And then the, the good guys like win or Dude. beat the villain. But this time he like did what he said yeah. he was gonna <laughs> do. You know? Yeah. So yeah. Finally, I get goosebumps <laughs> thinking about it though. Like, and then and then he's at the end of the movie when he's sitting there resting, like looking out over the sunrise, over the as as he says, quote unquote, a grateful universe, like yeah. a saved universe. I was like, oh, and powerful. and his his idea is like a. A realistic one. It's not one like rooted right. in evil, right? right. It's well, like he, that's sustainability. The thing. Like, he sees himself as a, as the hero of his own yeah. story, yeah. and that's like a quality of the best villains. The villains who see themselves as the hero. When oh, so actually, I, uh, when Thor dropped on the battlefield, Dude. <laughs> oh, yes, that was, that was pretty sweet. Part. Chris Hemsworth is just a beautiful <laughs> human being. I'll say it. You know, you know who doesn't deserve any credit for that movie? Who? Um, Ant Man because he wasn't. Yeah, <laughs> that. But um, Doctor Strange's uh, aid. Um, oh, um, Wong or something. Wong. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he straight up bounced, didn't do anything, went to go protect the house that's that was now destroyed. There's, there's 500 superheroes, man. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, that's true. It was overcrowded with a number of people. <sighs> I loved it. Yeah. And for those kids out there that are screaming at us to talk about swimming, okay, fine. We'll, talk about <laughs> we'll swimming. go back to swimming. Yeah. yeah. I mean, make us. Um, someone asked me what the. I think I'm gonna do a vlog of this next week. But someone asked what was the hardest set I did this year. Mm. I'd probably have to sit down and actually think about it. Um, but we did a breaststroke set where it was like a 200 breaststroke double pullouts on 250. And I probably went like a 220, so about 30 seconds rest. But, I mean, with that much no, no breath and double mm -hmm. pullouts, pretty hypoxic. Into a 5200 pace, into 225s on 25, 30 seconds rest. And we did that four times. I don't know what it is. Like... That just sticks out in my mind as one of the, because the amount of oxygen jet that I was hitting as I was trying to pace after that two hundred on the short on with little rest, dude, it nearly ruined me. Yeah. I remember that I died pretty hard. I get this question a lot too, but yeah. like yeah. it never. I like try not to think about the practices yeah, that you know. Like I don't even. I don't want to think about them that much, but like none none really stick out more than the yeah. rest because they're all difficult. You yeah, know? yeah. Like you, you just I, get to a point where. You know, every set is kind of hard in their own way, and right. so like they just don't become memorable. Yeah, anymore. I don't yeah. like rank them. As... Yeah. yeah, I don't look at it that. I guess that's kind of like a younger mentality. Like as a kid, that's kind of how I saw things too. It yeah, was like, how hard this practice how hard be. Is, right, but it's more like okay, like how am I going to tactically take down this? Yeah. set? like how right. how am I going to deconstruct the set and do it to the best? Because some sets, some sets are like physically hard. Like they'll just drain your body, but then some sets are like mentally hard. Yep. They're yeah. mentally just kind of be mentally grinding, and like yeah. you know, you can do them if you have like the right good attitude, and like you can crush the set. But it's just mentally just like, okay, you know, I'm hurting, but I just got to keep going. I just got to keep. Did going. you guys ever do any like real gruesome Christmas training, like winter training? You know, in like high one, school, like 100, or? 100, any, I think anything, we, anything, I think we talked about this at one point, but like we like you're saying, have. mental sets. We did ten one thousands. Um, but it was I on didn't like do it. it was on like no I did in, in middle school. Um, oh my god! Yeah, like eighth grade. But it was on like fifteen minutes. It was something yeah. super easy. It's just to get through it. Yeah, just to just to do it. And yeah. like our coach like turned the lights off and like so it was like not not like all of them but like it was like kind of dark. And he just wanted us to like not like each thousand you just couldn't stop. Right. So it was just like a mental thing. Uh huh. Just gonna zone out. But yeah. sometimes I actually prefer not not ten one thousands. Right. But, you know, like, <laughs> I actually prefer like you like some of the switching longer, switching from a physical set to like just turn your brain off and swim moderate. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's like I think it rests my my mental side. Mm. I know what you're saying. Like yeah. a. Like kind of like a Monday or a Friday morning with with Mike. Is yeah, that kind of what you mean. Yeah. So like five threes and then ten ones and just kind of, I mean, like but still like a, like a simpler like, yeah. a, like yeah. a like yeah. a simpler set like just some like maybe there's only like two sets in the practice three right. sets or whatever but it's still like moderately hard but you don't have to think about anything you just yeah. swim and yeah. like yeah because like swimming like you're supposed to think about stuff when you're practicing like yeah kicks yeah. stroke count breathing mm -hmm. whatever technique things. well i mean like when you do one of coley's practices yeah exactly ryan's done a few everything is so detail oriented stroke count tech like everything you do there's i mean you're not you're not swimming 12 and a half yards without something specific that you're supposed to do yeah. i'm mm -hmm. like that's by design yeah. but like mentally that's like okay what yeah. am i doing like Ryan was doing a practice with the other the other day, and he was like, "Okay, wait, what's this next twenty five? What's this next one?" <laughs> like, uh, you kind of get used to it. But that's, that that yeah. tires you out, like thinking about it. All does that stuff. It, no, it yeah. does. Yeah. Like, whatever. Last night or something, we oh. only did like four. We did, it was four. It was only four thousand yards, mm -hmm. 
and I'd probably say a good chunk of it was drills. Right. But I was like huffing and puffing because it was like every I was like so stressed out puffing. because every you know 25 50 we was changing a drill or changing technique and yeah. doing something underwater open turn and like just what? crazy stuff and so every time we come to the wall I'm like wait, wait, what am I doing and they're like doing this 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 go I was like okay yeah, yeah. and then I was like and then I'm like I'm not going off to like sprint I'm just kind of going off the drills but then I'm like thinking about okay high elbow catch nice whatever and yeah <laughs> It was it was tough. I can't even describe to the listeners some of the drills and the and the stuff that Coley has the sprint group do. It's just you should like so, film one of your practices. That I would be know. easier. It's so foreign, like it's so out there and different. Uh, I I just it's crazy. It's crazy wacky. I definitely need to vlog some of it. Yeah, it's fun. But as Ryan said, it well not to mention you're you're also a little bit out of shape. So like, oh yeah, I'm definitely a <laughs> me too. <laughs> Ryan was supposed to lift with me this morning. He came to the weight room, was in his weights clothes, stood around for about 15 minutes, and I was like, all right, Ryan, I'll have Margo pick you up. <laughs> you don't want to lift? No. <laughs> okay. Let, yeah, let's, let's, let's get the real story here. <laughs> I'm under the bus. So for the past day, you know, since yesterday, Cody was like, oh, man, get ready for tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to be so tough. Like, we're going to do all this crazy stuff in the weight room. You're going to be dead. And I was like, oh, geez, whatever. Okay, like, I'll live. You know, I'm not going not gonna to die here. It's going to be great. I'll live. And then uh, I got to the weight room, and Cody's warming up, and uh, the strength coach comes over, and he's like, hey, Ryan, like, uh, you guys want to do any of this stuff or this stuff? And I was kind of like, yeah, I mean, yeah, sure. <laughs> like, cause, well, we got to the weight room late to begin with, so I had to go somewhere else yeah. afterwards. Um, and he was like, yeah, she's like, uh, have you, have you, actually, have you ever signed a, a liability waiver? And I was like, Cop no. Out. And he's like, mm, yeah, you probably shouldn't lift then. <laughs> So I was like, oh, darn. But then on the inside, I was like, yes, thank you. <laughs> I don't have to get ripped apart in wet dry land today. So you got out of it. You got, got out of it. it. Nice. Margo picked him up and took him to breakfast. Mm -hmm. nice. I will go on record and say Ryan is the only person to see where Margo lives. Wow. Yep. Margo, the crowd favorite. It's You're a so secret? Lucky, Ryan. Yeah, it's secret. Signed contract. <laughs> you signed it. Sworn to secrecy. <laughs> I can't tell what her apartment what looks it? like. Non-disclosure? <laughs> yeah, non-disclosure, yeah. yeah. It's one of those like... Like uh, DefCon Five, like like Call of Duty Black Ops, like each, <laughs> each like document is like blacked out, and, like everything. Ryan's a man of many secrets. <laughs> you could you could go on on record now and like just tell the world the NC State Diamond. No, <laughs> no, 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 I don't think that secret will ever be told unless you become part of the NC State swim team. On the NC State swim team, all the is it just, is it the men's team or just both? the men's team? Okay, just the men's team. They have a diamond that they put it. It's over the heart, right? Yep, over the heart. And no one knows what it means. So Blake and I, being super good friends with Ryan, have no idea what it means. No, I, I kind of respect that though. Like I really, yep. I respect it. Blake thinks he knows. <laughs> I he know has what no it idea. Means. I don't. I don't want to tell you. Guys. He's got. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure, Blake. Sure. It's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 definitely something we have to take a lot of pride in. And pretty much everyone, any meet we ever go to, people are like. So what's the diamond about? <laughs> right, but we can never say. You'll die. You yeah. <laughs> More secrecy. No. We don't have anything like that. No. no. We could make something. We could. Let's make something. When did we, that become we were, a thing? We were talking. Uh, oh, it started in the uh, like late '80s, early '90s. Oh, it's been, for it's a been while. that long. Wow. Yeah. But yeah, we we also have some other team chants that are a little older. But we were talking um, us three as a group last night about how Indiana doesn't have any. Uh, hand signs Man, we don't have anything cool and so uh blake's taking upon himself to uh start an iu hand sign <laughs> yeah like it looks how we weird. do yeah the i don't wolf know how it looks. does it uh nc state it's not gonna work man we, <clears throat> we can't do anything cool like well if that. you put it upright we see this is why we, we need the video the texas thing. yeah this is why we need a webcast yeah because no one true. can see what our hands yeah, are doing yeah dang it well someone tell your tell one of your followers to <sighs> make an to iu design an iu yeah thing. something yeah. some finger magic orientation yeah. Someone out there do it for us. Yeah. <laughs> Just to look like an IU symbol. It would look. I, I can't even do that. Your hand works better than my hand. What? I don't even yeah, know. Yeah. No, your pointer finger's do off. I look you, you need to switch your middle that? finger. Yeah, your pointer finger. Well. <laughs> It's not. I don't think. I think the listeners are probably yeah. mad at us right now because we're just <laughs> sorry, we're, sorry. we're just fiddling it's with our hands. Real off topic here. So, uh, 2018 is over. 
Thank goodness. Yeah. Thank goodness. <laughs> yeah, dude. What a brutal year for me. Goodness. Yeah. I'm just kidding. It was a good year. I had a really good year. Just had some not so great swims. 2019 is gonna be way better. <laughs> like when you started thinking about everything that happened, it's like it's a year is a long. Dude, time. dude I saw oh, a tweet gosh. at the beginning of the year. Yeah. It was like or the end of this year. It was like you know how long 2019 is. We had an Olympics this year, <laughs> and no one even remembers. What do you mean? That's true. We had we had winter we had, had Chang. We had the winter. We had the winter Olympics this year. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like that's how long this year that has was been. That long yeah. ago. Oh my gosh. That's yeah. true. I mean, when I made that recap video just a few months ago of my first season of the vlog, I was like shocked at how much. It is a cool way to like go back in time and see. That is cool. I bet you remember nuts. a lot of stuff, or you crazy. forget it, but you remember a lot of stuff. Yeah, yeah. It was kind of nutty. It's crazy. Did you do you make resolutions? Or are you? No, it's just like does, a person that does the that. Old, no, I've never, no. I've never made a New Year's resolution before, but this year I was like, okay, the one thing I'm going to do the next month is do everything I physically can to increase the muscle density on the inside of my VMOs and my knees to <laughs> improve my knees. That's so, the most specific. It's very specific. Weird resolution. New Year's yeah. resolution. Yeah. I've ever heard. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going, like, oh, I want to eat less sugar. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I need to increase the muscle on the <laughs> inner side of my knee. I could get very specific <laughs> about the nitty gritty of the gracilis sartorius and that little trigament highway down there, but yeah, no, I mean, I got to get healthy so I can race. That's it. Period. I don't Did do you make one, Ryan? Yeah. No, I never. No, didn't really make a New Year's resolution. <laughs> yeah. um, just, just keep doing, just keep trucking along. Um, yes. Try and prepare myself for, try and just better myself for a life after swimming. Yeah. Employment, job. Yeah, I I didn't make yeah. one either. But I actually I like hearing you know ones that people when they do make them. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't know. I've never yeah I've never really made one very specifically. I don't know. Well. There's dog fur all over you. There I'm is. Sorry, if I, uh, people could see if the they hair and see the level of fur in this household, Gosh. they'd be shocked. You're gonna have to rent like a studio. It's one day a week. It's now pretty or bad. Just for the podcast. Yeah. Just to get for away like one from. Hour. I don't know if it's people not, do that. It, uh, I mean, I could kind of turn that guest room into like a oh, podcast. Dude. Would you get access to the library? I don't know. Maybe. Like you do. <laughs> well, I don't know about IU, but at NC State IU has a library. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's uh, currently jokes. sinking into the ground <laughs> um but nc state we have in our library we have podcast rooms that you can Whoa. run out you can run out for an hour and they have like built-in mics and um like we can do it yeah, but it's so much easier just to come here though we could do it in one of the offices of the pool that's true we could yeah whatever thoughts whatever. whatever and then you just go yeah. right into practice yeah, I guess so. I keep saying in like every vlog, I'm like, I'm gonna be doing regular podcasts, and I just don't. <laughs> I, <haven't. laughs> I just don't. Well, the schedule's like, been crazy. They? Well, I think also at times it's like you can only talk about swimming for so much. Yeah, you, so you, you, you'd have to have like a special guest every the, week. That's the thing. It's all about. I mean, Blake's really good because like Blake is super into swimming and knows stats and races and history and like oh, I can go down the list of all the things we can talk about. Yeah, but having someone different, you know. It's a different perspective, yeah. different ideas, yeah. different thoughts. And you're right. I mean, it's kind of a small little world, but you, you could like interview like um, like an official or someone. I mean, I don't know, but official, a friend, friends of the sport. I, don't, okay. I like, I like where you're going with this. <laughs> we we appreciate the passion. Ah, I'll recant my statement. <laughs> <laughs> we love you, Ryan. I gotta get Lily on. That's that's the probably the most requested person. Yeah, Lily and. I'll get Margo on next week, hopefully. Just set up a... I can't believe Margo hung out at my house for 30 minutes today. And Gage on. Hamill. Oh, so yeah, long. Gage, when are you... And Gary. We oh, have... Yeah, and Gary. Gary, too. Sweet, we have a lot. See, Gary. that's like a month of... That's a lot of podcasts yeah. we could do. Yeah. All right. I'm sure Ray. Yeah. I'm sure Ray, Ray on a Ray, podcast. Dude, here's the thing. Ray would be a phenomenal podcast guest. Yeah. Because Ray can talk about anything. And he's kind of got a nice, smooth voice and... When he's, he's not kind of super calm. intense. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Could, Smooth though. voice. I, I do I know what you're saying though. Um but he, he has such a plethora of knowledge in all these weird areas. You know, like he could talk to you about anything. It's bizarre. You could talk about ancient woodworking from the Middle East and he'd be like, Yeah, I know all about like, there's this fork that they use and, and <laughs> like where how do you know this way? Right? Like what are you talking about? Yeah. But yeah, Bray for sure, for sure. We talk Hell, are you gonna go to NCs this year to watch? Uh, I think so. So, I know we. Uh, I know since NC State has like 
we have we just are now emer- if you're not familiar NC State we're just now emerging from our dark age period Those like killing from it. like the 2000 to like 2008 we don't really talk about it <laughs> um, I don't know if I would say just now you guys have been good for well yeah few years. no but for like well from like 2009 to present oh. we've like just skyrocketed Dude, that's like 10 years yeah, so, a long time. well okay I guess you're right I guess you're right um, but we we want to start we kind of want to start like competing with Cal, like at NCAA, mm, like how yep. they have like yep. just an absurdly large amount of people yeah, there. And we like, want that too. Yeah, we we want to start having that. We want to like get like wolf blankets and like, start <laughs> yeah. going crazy like Same. they do. We don't have a similar thing for IU, but we're planning on going. So yeah, be cool. so I, I plan on going too. We need awesome. to swim while we're there so we can swim. Together. I think I'm, yeah, I think I'm going to NCAAs. Cool. I, nice. I think well. It's either one or either one or the other. Either ACCs or NCAA's. No, yeah, NCAA's. Uh, yeah, 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 come on. I would NCAA's. <laughs> yeah. Well, before we sign off, I always get asked one question. I know it's really hard to put you on the spot, but if you could give one piece of advice to like a young, upcoming little Ryan Held, what would it be? Ooh, or a little, little Ryan little, Held or, or like little a little Ryan Held? Like, a <laughs> little, little Blake Peroni? Do a squat. No. <laughs> That's what I was gonna say. That's what I was gonna say. A little Ryan Held. Yeah. Oh, Lay off the squats. No, no. That little dunk, man. <laughs> Ryan's got that power booty. <laughs> <laughs> no, if if I had to uh if I had to say anything to any any aspiring swimmer, is that like uh for me growing up, I didn't have any crazy nice facility. Mm-hmm. I, I swam in a four lane YMCA pool. Uh, I didn't have any, didn't do any strength training, didn't really, I just kind of listened to the coaches, had fun, like I enjoyed swimming, enjoyed training, and like just honestly, I just kind of like put all my faith in just like, you know, whatever you say is going to go, and I'm, whatever you say, I'm just going to give it 110%. So like, you don't need any crazy like training facility or weights or anything special. Like You can do the extraordinary with just the ordinary. Oh, I love that. That was a good line. That was yeah. a really good line. Yeah, uh, one piece of advice to any younger swimmer, I would say, is while I don't know, swimming has this like notion as being such a difficult sport, and like you know yeah. we get so broken down and blah 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 blah, but it's really depending on like what level you decide to finish swimming at, it's really a short period of time in your life, and yeah, yeah. I like I want you, those people to cherish the moments that they're at now, because like now I still look back and I remember like high school and I was like, wow, that was fun, you know, I wish I was like. In, more in the moment kind of yeah. kind of thing not wishing I could get to this next step this next step you know wish I could do this faster mm-hmm. or whatnot um, yeah so to like think about it in a different way I've been I've been around so many so many of my friends and been around people that just they leave the sport and they're so bitter and they're so you know they they're just burn out um, so to just think about how short of a period of time you know a swimming career actually is and to <clears throat> just change change the perspective on it and have a better outlook I think would be my I love advice. that I always tell people just make sure they're having fun yeah. and then I get some some parent most parents 9 out of 10 parents are like love hearing that then you get the one parent that's like that's not how they're gonna get there I'm like listen, <laughs> listen. <laughs> like, <laughs> yes it is <laughs> because if your kids are miserable yeah, if and you hate themselves yeah, exactly. like, you know, you're not gonna listen in. yeah you gotta you gotta walk that that rope real fine yeah. alright thanks for doing this guys um Listeners, make sure you guys follow Blake and Ryan on social media. Ryan, where can people find you? At Heldy Locks. Twitter. I love it. I love you. For name. both Twitter and Instagram. H E L D I L O X. Ryan goes hard on Twitter. Yeah. You can find me on Instagram, just Blake Peroni on Instagram. I don't, I don't mess with Twitter. And you guys can follow me on social media at Swim Miller on Twitter and at Cody Miller on Instagram. Vlogs every Wednesdays. I'm trying to do more regular podcasts. Trying. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And uh, we will see you guys in the next video. Yeah. Bye-bye. Ciao.